tools. In this video I'm going to show you how to upload a single product. In order to do that you go to the left sidebar, you click on the uploader, you go to Amazon, you can either copy the entire link or just the SE number from here. You go back, paste and you choose the template you want or just let it stay on the default one and you click grab details. Here you can see the title and you can make changes to the title. A cool thing that we have, it, it will show you how many um, characters uh, are left and if you even exceed it, if you want to edit uh, the title and you want to play with it and you don't want to have uh, a situation where you're like you're running out of space and you have to edit it in a different document. Uh, we added a feature that you can just add text here. Once it goes here to zero it will start going down to minus and then you'll be able to just play, put it here and then delete till you reach the title, you optimize the title to your satisfaction and you'll see how many items you're left. Let's say uh, that you don't wanna have any signs, uh, any punctuation marks or anything like that in your title, you can click here, remove signs and they will go away. Um, down here, you can see the product uh, price after uh, adding the profit and the break even that you have defined earlier in the price monitor right here. So my default break even is 19 for each product and also this specific one I wanna I'm uh, I wanna profit two dollars and an additional 3.4 percent uh, from the source price right here. Um, you can either have it on uh, profit only, only dollar profit or only percentage profit or you can do both. So for example this product as I said I will be earning $2 uh, from it and additional 3.4%. Um, down here you will see the suggested category that goes according to eBay, whatever eBay suggests. Uh, the category, uh, the main category, it will choose it here. If uh, you want to change, you can go and do it here. If you don't see the category that you want to have, you can click here, uh, check this box, let me choose a category. Uh, then you click here, valid categories values. You find the categories that you want, the category that you want, let's say this one, uh, and you copy the number here. Copy it, go back, you paste it here, and you and you click load category, and it will take the category that you took from here and will um, set it as your category in your eBay listings. Then here you can see the item specifics uh, that uh, it takes, it can take from Amazon. It fills as much as possible. You can see more here. You can uh, complete it according to the product you chose um, and you can add more. If you're missing something, you want to add more data, you can click here, add item specific. You can write specific one text and add specific and it will be added here. Next thing is the images. Uh, our monitor only takes the best quality images on Amazon. If a picture doesn't have a good quality it will just not take it and you won't see any uh, pictures here. That means you'll have to try and find different uh, better pictures uh, for your listing or edit existing ones on Amazon. Uh, We'll take care of it soon. Uh, next thing you can do is uh, you can duplicate 
the image right from here. It doesn't work right now. Why not? Not good here. Sorry. It's my internet connection, I guess. Um, you can just uh, copy an image. Uh, and one uh, really important thing is that once it takes images, uh, it first gives them the title uh, from Amazon, taken here. And every, uh, every image that you will copy will get the new title that you have optimized. And it's really good for uh, eBay search engine for Cassini. It will promote you in the search results. Um, if you just want to do 12 pictures, which is really highly recommended also Cassini-wise, you can just click 12 and it will copy all the 12. Uh, if you want to add more pictures, you can click here, browse, or find an image from a URL address. Down here, you can see um, you can see uh, your default. Um, sorry, you can see your default template. Uh, if you want to change the image that the template took at the beginning. Uh, because now this is the image, the main image where you see uh, the frame. Uh, you can just choose a different frame, click refresh template, and it will take uh, the image that you chose, and then you can just change uh, back to whatever image you want to have as a main image. Uh, we have a very nice template. We're going to add more soon. It's responsive. It's uh, uh, mobile compatible and compatible with e eBay guidelines 2017. You can go down here. You can see how it will look on mobile. Very good looking, very responsive. And down here you have uh, the quantity that you can uh, change. It will automatically take your policies, your default policies from eBay, but you can change them here accordingly to what you want to do. Um, and here it's uh, an option for you to tag, uh, add tagging to this um, listing like I explained before. And down here you have an option um, to exclude Prime. If this is not a Prime product, if this is an add-on you're adding for example, you want to check this box so that the monitor will not uh, take it out of stock when it runs. Uh, here, private listing, meaning you can uh, check here and you can allow your customer to stay anonymous and not give his details. Um, and that's it. You can press upload product and it will go live. And let me just show you how our uh, template looks like before my computer turns off. Here you go. Click here. All the item specifics that you're adding. And here is the template. That's it for now. Uh, we'll explain more in detail about the bulk upload in the next video.